Hey there, if you want to create a newsletter here using Canva and totally for free where you are in the right place, I'm going to be showing you a few tips that you can use in order to create your first uh, newsletter and then you can just share that into whatever page that you are using. So in my case, I'm going to be using just a few tips, a few tools of Canva Pro. So if you're using a free version of Canva, you can still do this. You can still have your own newsletter, but I can strongly suggest you guys to use the Canva Pro version because there's so much more features and tools that you can use to be more creative and well, make your stuff to look, to look a little bit more professional, right? So first of all, what I want to do here now that I'm into Canva, if you have your Canva Pro already activated, you want to go for template, which is actually below home. And now that we are in here, we want to focus on our search bar, which is actually on the upper side. Here into the search, thousands of templates. I want to look for my keyword, which is news letters. I hit into enter. In my case, I do love to work with templates because it's too much, uh, so much more easier to be working on something that has been already created rather than uh, start from scratch. If you want to start from scratch, you can choose the create a blank newsletter. It's gonna be popping up the creating section of Canva. Here we have the blank option and we can just go into elements and start drag our stuff like this, right? But if you want to start from a template like I do love to do, I'm gonna just uh, exit here and look for a template that's adequate for um, the kind of news that I want to use. So I'm gonna scroll down and try to find something um, that I like, and then I can go ahead and start to customize that. For example, I kind of like this one that says the agenda. And this one has two slides. It looks like this is like a magazine, um, a fancy magazine. So 100% fully customizable, edit and download on the go, share and publish anywhere. So this one is totally for free. I'm gonna choose customize the template so we don't have any um, problem by changing all that. So I'm gonna just move this and drag that a little bit more. I'm gonna zoom this just a second here like this. If you choose to view the width view, it's gonna be showing you all the pages that you have here into your design. If you want to add something new, click into the plus uh, block and you can add so much more than that. But I just want to stick around with the first two of them. Use the first one and quit the grid view. So for example, um, I can tell you that the first thing that I would love to uh, edit here is the main font because I don't like this font. So once I click into this font, into this text, I'm going to choose this option and it's going to be popping up all this new uh, text fonts. So I think I kind of like this one. This is like uh, something that I just randomly picked and it actually looks good. If I want to take a look into more of that, uh, here it is, Calgary. Uh, so once you find something that you do love and it fits for your, for your newsletter, I'm going to use exit. Uh, right away, I want to stick around with the one that we just choose before. And here we have the text, uh, 12 September, the 2022. So let's say for example, that I want to choose uh, the one that we just have here. And here's the issue. If I don't want to see something, if you don't want to edit this, you just don't want to see that, you whether you want to delete that or choose the, the backspace of your keyword, right? So now, if you want to use the same elements that are in here, you just want to change the image. What you can do is to choose the uploads and upload your file. And then you can drag your photo and drop that into the old one that you want to replace. In my case, I want to choose elements, for example, and I want to choose like, um, I don't know, maybe like fancy, something fancy. And I'm gonna choose photos. So this uh, something that I can try to use let's say fancy clothing and then if I find something that's adequate for me what I'm going to be doing here is to select my image let's say for example and I kind of like this one I drag and drop and there you go if I want to zoom this without having to move anything here I choose my image go into crop and there we go so let's say that I want to track this a little bit more on the center and move this a little bit more on the 
like this. Right, so I hit into done, and there we go. We didn't have to move absolutely anything. If you want to change it once again, the color uh, of the background here, I just choose this lower part, and I change my color like something more browny. But I want to stick around with, the, with this option, right? Or let's say that you want to match that with the background color of your image. So choosing the plus button, choose this pick a color from the design, and you once again you want to drag and drop. So there we go. Then I can just scroll down and try to just move all my stuff and customize my text once again. So here, let's say that I want to choose all these three text. Choose my fonts and here I want to look for the recently used so I can use the same one that I just used before which is this one right it would be just so much more easier like this once again and lastly if you want to for example let's say that you want to copy and paste a text uh, that was from another document for example um, let's say that I want to look for here into fancy clothing news. So what I want to do here is to use the same text that I just used from another doc document and go into copy paste. I just delete this and put that in here and then I can just fit this into my new document. So as you can see we have this ruler grids so we can be mm, so much accurate and I can change here the fonts just decided this before and let's say that I want to fit this like this and change it like this so then I can resize and look so much more interesting like this I can do the same thing with all the text and based all my designs with my grid view and after I'm successfully done I can choose the presentation mode and I can go back and I can go forward and if you like that you can just exit here, go into escape, and go into share. I can strongly suggest you guys if you want to is stick around here with a newsletter, you want to download out as a PNG file and both PDF files standard. So once you select all your pages, you go into download out, and it's gonna be downloading your stuff all merged into one file. So here it is, my compressed file, neutral tones, modern, bold fashion newsletter. So this is the title that appears because actually it's right in here. So if you want to change the name of your file, you want to exit. And here I want to change this, for example, my news letter 2022, 11 November, right? Hit into enter and then you're good to go. So as you can see, there are so much tools that you can use. I use, uh, I'm pretty sure I just use like three or four tools of Canva Pro. If you once again want to stick around with the Canva free version, uh, then you uh, you can do whatever you wanted to guys, but I'm gonna leave you just uh, that link where you can get a 30 free uh, day trial of a Canva Pro and see for yourself all the tools that you have available into Canva so you don't have to be spending anything at all for the next 30 days. So sticking out here into Canva, use all the tools, be creative guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this was very useful for you. I can't wait to see all your uh, fancy newsletter. So thank you once again for watching this video guys. I will see you next time.